Newmarket became everything we know Newmarket to be now because of the wide open expanses of grass outside the town. And no area of the heath on the berry side of town sums it up better than this, where we are now, the lime kilns. This field is hundreds of acres big of absolutely pristine, centuries old, perfect grassland. It stretches two miles from that direction over there. This side of the field is called the lime kilns. The far side is Waterhall. And for centuries, every summer, this is where the horses of Newmarket all the famous horses, they've all been up here, done their fast work. It is absolutely beautiful turf. The grass is what makes Newmarket great. It's why we're here in the first place. But since the 1980s, we've had the option of artificial surfaces. And Sheikh Hamdam's first classic winner was Alba Hatry, who won the Irish 1000 guineas. And he very kindly trained, on, trained by Tom Jones in Green Lodge. And he very kindly said to the jockey club afterwards, I would like to show my gratitude for these wonderful facilities producing me a classic winner. I'd like to give something to, to give something to Newmarket. And they said, well, all weather gallops were starting to invest in those. And if you would like to uh, invest in an all weather gallop, we would be delighted to have the gallop named in your honor. So he said, I'd like it to be the Alba Hatry gallop. And the lime kilns get plenty of use in the summer, but in real firm conditions, real, a real dry weather, the Alba Hatry really comes into its own, and it comes into its own in the middle of winter as well, when it's, it's soft ground everywhere. It gets use every day of the year. And just like the lime kilns, it's a wonderful gallop to get horses fit on and find out how good they are. When one thinks of all the areas of Newmarket Heath, and there are a lot of them, it's often easy to forget about this area. It's only a few, only a few hundred acres, and it's called the Lynx, and it's where the horses learn to jump. There's, there are great hur practice hurdles, practice fences on a large acreage which they move around so it's good ground. And nowadays, National Hunt Racing is a summer sport as well, so when the ground's very firm in the summer, if you don't want to school your horses on, on hard ground, you can take them up this polytrack line of hurdles graduating to fences. And the area actually was a race course, a National Hunt race course, for about 10 years at the end of the 19th century, start of the 20th century. And as well as the various schooling facilities, even a loose school where, where the, the horses can learn to jump with nobody on their back and little jumps as well. As well as those, there's a mile five gallop that is, it's great in the winter. You wouldn't take on it, in, you wouldn't go on it in the summer because it'd be too firm. Mile, one mile five furlongs following the route of the old race course. And then there's a two and a quarter mile gallop along by the railway line over there, which is, well, it's, if you were wanting to, if you wanted to get your horse ready for the Grand National, you couldn't go wrong bringing him up here every day. And I mean, that's shown by the fact that over the years, even though Newmarket's most famous for its, its classic winners and the flat champions, there have been several Grand National winners trained here. And even in the time I've been in the town, there have been three individual champion hurdle winners trained here. <laughs>